Welcome to Electromagnetic Field Theory. This is Group 2's presentation on Radio Frequency Energy Harvesting. The group members can be seen below. Today's presentation includes the research question and introduction, types of resonators, method of modeling resonators, results obtained from simulation, a discussion, a conclusion, and finally, a list of references. The research question is, can a split ring resonator be used to harvest radio frequency energy from a nearby PCB transmission line? To begin, we need to know what is a split ring resonator. This is a device that naturally oscillates at a set frequency known as the resonant frequency. It is a metamaterial which consists of a periodic array of sub-wavelength structures that produce an electromagnetic response not typically available in nature. Here we have the structure of the split ring resonator along with its equivalent circuit diagram. Coupling radio frequency energy from a PCB transmission line to a PCB resonator is done via magnetic coupling. The magnetic coupling develops a LC resonance and transfers power via electromagnetic couplings without radiating any electromagnetic waves. The magnetic coupling is therefore represented as a mutual inductance. Here we have magnetic coupling of the transmission line in circuit 1 with the split ring resonator in circuit 2. Performance metrics of the split ring resonator based on energy harvesting. The resonant frequency F0 is given as 1 on 2 pi times the square root of LT where L and T are the inductance and capacitance of the split ring resonator. Here we have the typical structure of a PCB transmission line. It is made up of a conductor, a dielectric, and a ground plane. The types of resonators can be seen below. A circular split ring resonator with its complement below, a square split ring resonator with its complement below, and finally, a double circle and double square complementary split ring resonator. The method of modeling. Power transmitted by the PCB transmission line was investigated, and this power was used to energize the split ring resonator models. Then, parametric sweeps were simulated to investigate various resonator geometries for each type of resonator. The best performing models based on the performance metrics previously discussed were then implemented to design optimal performing resonators. Here we can see the results obtained from simulation of the PCB transmission line. The red arrows indicate the direction of the magnetic field around the transmission line. Next, we have the results obtained from simulation of the square complementary split ring resonator with four changes in gap height. For the same resonator, we have another graph of total electric energy versus frequency. As we can see here, the total electric energy decreases as the gap width increases. Here we have the results obtained from changing the width of the square complementary split ring resonator. The results obtained in this graph shows that increasing the, th the width of the resonator also decreases the total electrical energy output. This diagram shows the concentration of magnetic flux for the square split ring resonator. The red area is the highest concentration of magnetic flux. For the double circle complementary split ring resonator, we can see that as the gap height increases, the total electrical energy output decreases and the resonant frequency increases. The double circle complementary split ring resonator shows similar results for changes in resonator thickness. Here we can see the model of the double circle complementary split ring resonator in COMSOL where the red indicates high magnetic flux density. Finally, the resonator designs were tested and their results and responses were observed. The least efficient resonator was a single circle complementary split ring resonator. The most efficient resonator was a double circle complementary split ring resonator. Definite changes were noted for changes in the resonator type and geometry. The best performing resonator parameters were extracted for each case and employed to design a split ring resonator that yield the best results for each case. Here we can see the final graph of total electrical energy output versus frequency for the double circle split complementary split ring resonator. To conclude, investigations showed that using the split ring resonator to harvest radio frequency energy from a PCB transmission line can be accomplished. However, the quantity of energy converted to useful energy is extremely low. It is recommended that suitable SRR arrays be used to maximize the amount of energy harvested. Here we can see the list of references used for this project. Thank you for watching.